Hey guys, good morning. Today I will be upgrading my 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooling to a 240 millimeter liquid cooling. So same thing, it's still gonna be an AIO. So currently I am using a uh, Cooler Master, Master Liquid Light 120, and I will be upgrading it to a Thermal Take Water 3.0 Ring RGB. So let's see um, the difference. Okay, let's check how big of a difference it makes from uh, 120 m uh, millimeter AIO to a 240. So currently I am doing a test right now for 20 minutes plus. Okay, uh, still using the 120 millimeter. Okay, so here it is. So the test has been running for almost 24 minutes now. And this is still the 120 millimeter all-in-one cooling. It's a Cooler Master Master Liquid Light 120. It's a pretty decent cooler. So, 5 gigahertz at 1.356 volts. And temperatures, the hottest is 79 degrees. Um, core number 2, 79 degrees Celsius. Okay, 24 minutes and 34 seconds. Okay, Ida 64, these are the settings that I'm using. Okay, I know this is not a scientific approach, but I'm just like comparing a 120 millimeter to a 240 millimeter radiator. Let's see how effective it is. Okay, you guys, here it is. Look at that. It's very dirty. So we'll be doing some cleaning as well while changing the cooler to this. Look at how dirty it is. Ew. Okay. okay guys I'm back and I'm able to successfully install the thermal take water um, 3.0 240 millimeter radiator and I'm pretty impressed with the results okay comparing it with the 120 millimeter um, Cooler Master, Master Liquid Light 120. So the temperature difference is night and day, meaning it's really big. Okay, I'm gonna show you the results in a while, but yes, um, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, here it is. So remember earlier, um, the load temps were uh, up to 79 degrees Celsius, okay, on the max core or core max. But right now, look at that, it's just 65, okay, so there's like a 14 degree difference. And the test has been running for 37 minutes or almost 38 minutes. So look at the goddamn difference. Okay, 79 degrees Celsius from the 120 millimeter, but now it's just 65. Same overclock, 5 gigahertz, same voltage, or I don't know, but it's showing a lot lower now. I did not change anything in the BIOS, but the difference is very, very impressive. 79 degrees down to 65 degrees Celsius under stress testing. So same 
Same tests I've been doing. And yes, that's it. 5 gigahertz at 65 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's impressive. So, oh, also one thing I'm going to show you. Look at that 240 millimeter radiator. It's mounted behind these three 140 millimeter um, fans. Okay, so it's kind of doing like a push-pull configuration, which is composed of three 140 millimeters there in the front, and behind it is the radiator doing a pull. Okay, so this is pushing air through the radiator, and then the two 120 millimeter fans are pushing, or sorry, pulling, pulling it, pulling the air from the front. So it's a pretty, pretty great setup. Okay, so two 120 at the top, pulling air out, so those are exhaust. This is back to exhaust, okay, so rear fan is exhaust and the top fans are exhaust and these fans here are intakes, okay, three 140 millimeters. And then the radiator is a pull configuration, pulling air from the front. So this is my setup right now. And I'm sorry for the orientation, but that's the best I can do. I cannot orient it properly because the tubes are not that long. It's it's a bit short, okay? So, but it's okay. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna cover it with something like a sticker so it won't show that it's the wrong orientation or something but yeah I'm pretty impressed with the results comparing the 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooling to the 240 okay there's a very big difference look at that 40 minutes now and the temperatures are still the same 65 degrees while stress test at 5 gigahertz is pretty impressive and yes I'm not using any air conditioning whatsoever the uh, it's you know I'm just in the living room so my computer is inside or is in the living room and that's it so what more if I'm using air conditioning this might be down to what 50 something I guess so yeah, pretty impressed with the results guys. 240 millimeter, five gigahertz overclock at 65 degrees load.